Livy Michael. Livy Michael, also known as Olivia Michael, 15 March 1960, Manchester, is a British fiction writer who publishes children and adult novels. Career, Rur. Michael began writing poetry at the age of seven. She attended Tameside College of Technology, University of Leeds, and completed B.A. English with first class honors in 1989 and Ph.D. in 1993. Her career as a novelist started with her first novel, Under a Thin Moon, in 1992. In addition to her writing, Michael also worked as a university lecturer teaching creative writing and ran reading groups about women's fiction. She began writing novels for adults in 1992, before writing her first children's novel in 2002, called Frank and the Black Hamster of Narkies. While Michael was in the process of writing her first novel, she continued her education and completed her doctorate in 1993 at the University of Leeds, where she earned a dissertation named Towards a Theory of Working Class Writing, Louis Grassic Gibbons a Scots Quare in the context of earlier working class fiction. Livy Michael completed her second novel while teaching English literature and creative writing part time until 1998 at Manchester Metropolitan University and proceeded to write her third novel as well. Her fourth novel was published in 2000. Michael continues teaching English literature and creative writing for the Department of Cultural Studies at Sheffield Hallam University and writing novels for children. In addition to teaching and writing, she also gives guest lectures, participates in writing workshops, and visits schools where she hosts reading groups and answers students' questions. Writing Influences One of the factors that influenced Michael's writing was her son's hamster named Frank. She describes Frank as an adventurous hamster and something of an escapologist. Her writing influences also come from the fact that she was raised in a single parent home by her mother. Michael herself was an unemployed single mother of two as well. She is aware of the effects of poverty on women as she is involved with women's organizations and community centers. These factors have led to her understanding of women and their lives on various levels. She highlights the world of poor and working-class women through the characters in her novels. She emphasizes on the voice of her characters by writing in a limited third person, which allows the reader to hear the characters' usually silenced voices. Notable Works Under a Thin Moon, 1992 Livy Michael's first novel, Under a Thin Moon, 1992, is praised for its portrayal of the underprivileged and working-class women. It depicts how the lives of four working-class women are tied together because of their class and gender. The story is set up in Manchester Council Estate, during the period of British conservative politician Margaret Thatcher. Political elements such as capitalism and patriarchy are prominent in the novel and criticized for the impoverished state of these women. Each of these women struggle with poverty and unemployment, which leads to the development of their similar identities despite their differing circumstances. Frank and the Black Hamster of Narkis 2002 Frank and the Black Hamster of Narkis 2002 is a novel for younger children. It is a story of a hamster named Frank, who is brave and courageous unlike the other hamsters who are gentle, timid and domesticated creatures. Frank has a mission and a motto courage, he escapes from his cage and undertakes an adventurous journey to meet the mysterious black hamster of Narkis. After the success of the first novel, Michael went on to write a series of novels on Frank's adventures, and all the novels have been successful. The Whispering Road 2005 Michael has also wrote books for the young adults. The Whispering Road 2005 is one of her popular works in this genre. The novel represents the real but dark issues such as death, disease, and abandonment through the lives of siblings Joe and Anne. It begins with their escape from slavery of a cruel farmer in the hope of finding their lost mother. However, Joe's immature behavior results in their separation along the journey. His guilt and deep love for his sister compels him to find her again, which generates readers' interest and sympathy towards his character.
Michael sustains a spirit of kindness and hope throughout to balance out the dark and disturbing elements of the novel. The amalgamation of accurate historical facts and the elements of fantasy is interesting and appeals to the young readers. Awards and honors 